house fires, industrial fires, building fires, those are all things that we're not really concerned about too much until we start looking at the numbers. In the United States, one structure fire was reported every 64 seconds in 2014, making a total of 3,000 civilian deaths and $10 billion in property damage. Now, those are really scary numbers, and it is why we need to think about the fire protection systems. Now, the fire protection system that I'm talking about is the magnesium oxychloride cement. This is a building material that is remarkably fire resistant. It is in fact five times more resistant than the typical gypsum firewall, which gives extra time to evacuate the building and extinguish the blaze, effectively saving lives and assets. This material is also very lightweight and strong, so it can be used in modular construction. It is also used in structural insulated panels, so you can build your home with an insulation system that will save you a lot of energy in air conditioning and heating. Now, at this point, with all these qualities, you might be wondering, well, if this material is so great, then why is it everyone using it? And the reason is that the fundamentals, the chemistry of this material is not well understood. The scientific knowledge about it is anecdotal at best. And this results in a market that has good cements out there, but also bad cements that degrade over time or when they're exposed to high humidity. And no one really knows why. And that is what I want to change with my research. My hypothesis is that if I study the steps of the reaction that makes this material, I can pinpoint the exact step that needs to be controlled in order to have a material that is superior to everything else in the market currently. Now, to achieve this, I monitored the reaction using powerful microscopes and x-rays, and I found out that the material goes from an amorphous gel-like state into a crystalline structure that eventually gives this material its properties. And this is very important because I found out that the material has a lot of gel left, it became unstable under high humidity. The kinetic study that I performed predicts exactly how fast the material will lose its gel phase, effectively predicting the quality of the material at any time and at any temperature. Now, the results of this study have been confirmed by a company that is collaborating with us, and I gotta say, it's very rewarding to see my research be applied into the real world. In conclusion, we have a material that has great potential, but it needs scientific support in order to function the way it was intended. We still have a lot of questions to answer, but I believe we're very close to make a breakthrough in the science of building materials. Thank you.